Hi everybody, so good to be with you again on this Faith Friday and we talk about building your faith every Friday. Well, I want to take you to the scripture in John chapter 5. Have you ever thought of this healing that takes place here and how Jesus operates after that when he meets the man later? He says something very unique to him. And I want to encourage you today that we live a life that is dedicated to Christ. Jesus broke, uh, well, didn't break the law there, but he went against what the law was teaching at that time. And he fulfilled the law in himself, which showed that he had authority in his father. Listen to this, at the pool, the healing at the pool that happens. Sometime later, this is John chapter 5 verse 1, Jesus went up to Jerusalem for one of the Jewish festivals. Now there in Jerusalem near the Sheep Gate, a pool, which in Aramaic is called Bethesda, and which is surrounded by the five covered colonnades, here a great number of disabled people used to lie, the blind, the lame, the paralyzed. And we still have people like that around us today, blind, lame, paralyzed. One who was there had been an invalid for 38 years. Wow, this seems like a hopeless case. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in the condition for a long time, he said to him, do you want to get well? This is a great question and it's in, in read in my Bible because it's the words of Jesus. Then Jesus, uh, uh, this guy says, yeah, I, I can't get to the pool. Other people get there before me. Then Jesus says to him, then Jesus said, get up, pick up your mat and walk. He heals him on a Sabbath, which was against the law. So the guys were angry with him. But Jesus shows again that he is the Sabbath. He's now the rest that you enter into. He's the fulfillment of the law. And so he just proves that this relationship with God now is so important and that he will fulfill the Sabbath through him. And he says later on in verse 11, but he replied, the man who made me well said to me, pick up your mat and walk. And then we can see when he meets him later on, later Jesus found him at the temple and said to him, see you are well again, stop sinning or something worse may happen to you. Have you ever, ever read that part? I think people skip these parts in the Bible. The man went away and told the Jewish leaders that it was Jesus who had made him well. And I want to say to you that this, this relationship with God and staying in a righteous walk with Christ, uh, through Christ with the Father, is so important. St remember the woman that was caught in adultery even, when he, when, he, when he set her free from these people. What was the word straight after they said, go and sin no more? I want to say to you that sin will cripple your faith, first of all. It will, it will blind you to so many things and you will begin to compromise in areas that you shouldn't be because the sin that is there in your life keeps that side of the flesh alive and it, it waters down what you do for Christ. Even the power that God wants to use you in is not there because of that compromise in your life. Go and sin no more is the message today for you to build your faith. Go and sin no more. Come to the cross, repent of your sin, confess it and turn away from it so that you may run with the fire of Jesus Christ. God bless you on this Faith Friday. Go and sin no more.